Welcome to another video. It's a beautiful day. It's July 4th, 2022. And today I'll be fishing for bass. And I've got about a mile and a half to two mile hike. So I'm gonna get going. I'll see you in a little bit. Getting closer, almost there. I just had to look up because I'm surrounded by these amazing pine trees and the water is right ahead of us. So we'll be fishing in a few. Looking forward to getting out there. All right, so before I go fishing, I just wanted to talk to you about a few new things that I got this year. I bought these waders. They're made by White River, and I paid under 100 bucks for them. And so far, I've used them about eight times this year. I have no leaks. The seams seem to be really sealed well, and I'm really happy with them. They're pretty light, so that was a good purchase. And then I get this carrying bag here for my poles or any gear that I want to put in here. My niece bought this for me for my birthday and I'm really happy with it. You've got this strap here. You can just throw right over your shoulder and you have a lockdown strap here. You can tighten this to keep everything together. And you have another pouch here. You can put gear all the way down here and you have a few pouches down in here. So I usually carry two or three poles with me. Today I'm using my bait caster with a spinner bait on there. And I also have my spinning rod with a plastic worm and auger tail. And then I have a bobber and a hook. I'm gonna be using a night crawler. I usually like to keep that out while I'm casting with one of these. And uh, I have a few new lures. I have the Guggen baits, the Crack and Craw. So I may be trying these today. I also have these Rage Tails made by Strike King Soft Baits. And these are coffee scented. And they say that helps entice the fish in. And then I have some of these Rapala Sinking uh, Crank Baits. I have a True Lore Frog. I also have a new Lunker Hunt Popping Frog. I've done pretty well with the other one that I had. So I may be trying this today. And then I have a Grizz bait, spinner bait. Um, I'll probably try that today as well. I've used this Strike King quite a bit and it's worked well for me. We're gonna give it a try, get out there and see what happens. What a beautiful sight. And I'm just gonna stand here for a little bit and soak it in. Small little bass right there, about five, six inches. All right, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bait up with a night crawler, put that out, and then I'm gonna cast with a spinner bait. Usually do pretty well with both. And I'm 
gonna give this grizz bait fluorescent green spinner bait a try. Oh, I already got a hit on this bobber. Take care of this. Something's already nipping at it. Yeah. Nope. Probably a perch or a bluegill. Small bass. He hasn't already got my bait. Made to reel that in and check it. So, oh yeah, strip me clean. I think something's playing around. Looks like something just darted at my bobber. <laughs> Tried to bite my... All right, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Yep, finally. Looks like a sunfish, bluegill. I don't care, first fish of the day. Decent size bluegill. We're looking for bass. I think as the afternoon wanes, sun goes down, the bass will be coming out more. So still a little early, but I've seen them patrol the shoreline here, and they've been jumping for bugs. So they'll be around. A little patience. I think I'm gonna try that new Lunker Hunt popping frog in a little bit. It's weedless and I've been getting snagged a lot with the spinner baits, although I've caught a few with spinner baits in the past. And I just lost my rubber worm and spinner bait. So not off to a good start there, but I brought more. You know, we're bound to lose some lures and some hooks here and there when we're fishing. That's why it's always important to bring extra. Be prepared. Uh, so I'm just, yeah, and this feels like a better fish. I don't know, maybe it's a bass. I don't know, looks like another bluegill. Oh well, it's bigger, definitely a bigger fish. Get a huge snake right here. Two feet. You know, I was gonna say, gotta look around you, watch out for snakes. Damn. <laughs> you never know when they're gonna be around. Oh yeah, he's looking around. I don't know what kind of snake that is, but yeah, he's at least a couple feet. Those of you who don't like snakes, you wouldn't want to be in my position. <laughs> but I'm not gonna bother you. You know, he's just hunting around for something. He's gonna get the Got a couple bluegills right here. And they're going for my bait. This one just hit. <laughs> Actually, that's a little bass. Teeny tiny bass. Let's see if I can get him underwater. That dragonfly is trying to go up for it. I'm gonna throw my worm down here. Let's see if I can get him to hit, get it on the water view.
this tiny bass. Someday he'll grow into be a big bass. All right, well, I'm going to wade back in. I'm going to put that new Lunker Hunt popping frog on. And uh, I'm going to grab something to drink and a snack. And I want to be aware of Mr. Snake. I think he went over there, so not too worried about it, but probably more scared of me than I am of him. two feet if not more he ain't gonna bother me he ain't gonna bother anyone all right I'm gonna give this lunker hunt popping frog a try and I had a different version of this and it worked really well. I got a few bass with it. It says lifelike action. Indeed it does. And that popping sound attracts them. When they hear that, it's all over. And I'm going to give this one a shot, so let's see what happens. Kind of slow retrieve, giving it a tug every few seconds. And that popping sound is what attracts the bass. Oh, something just, yeah, I just had something pop at it. But. Oh, I just had a bass hit at it. There we go. Probably the same one that just hit at it. Yes. There we go. Yes. Well, that's not bad. A couple pounds. Not a bad bass at all. Eh, not even a couple pounds. A pound and a half, maybe. All right, we're gonna get him back in the water. All right, you planned that. I think it was the first one that hit, right in the same area. All right, we're on the board. There's another bass. Yes. Ah, oh, he got off. Smaller bass. Oh. Well, Lunker hunt's working, <laughs> that's for sure. Oh, I just had it. All right, I'm gonna give Mr. Lunker Hunt Frog a rest. I'm gonna move down to a different spot. Not getting many hits right now. So, I'm gonna head out. All 
Okay, on to spot number two. All right, come on, Mr. Frog, do your thing. Oh, yep, thank you. The one just jumped right before that. Small, small, but... Small guy, half a pound, but nevertheless, it's a bass. All right. It's always good to give it a little squeeze, get the water out of there so it can float. And these work great, pretty much weedless. You can see the uh, hooks coming up like that alongside the body. This is very rarely, it's very rare that you get snagged. As you can see, there's a ton of vegetation in here. Spinner baits, I've tried spinner baits in here, and now it's July, everything's growing in. It's pretty tricky to get a spinner bait through here. You can, but this works great. Can't believe the casting distance on these though. It's get way out there. You need to when you're fishing from shore. Let's see if I can get it through this tall grass here. Right through it, no problem. A lot of times you're going to find bass sitting right smack dab in the middle of those. Oh, yep, see that? All right, see if I can entice one here with a night crawler. Just gonna let that sit. And I'm gonna work this frog over here. Yep, here we go. Ah. Ah. There he goes, there it goes. Yes. Oh, he took me into the weeds. Oh, there's a fish. Feels pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, damn, this is a good fish. Oh, that's a good bass. Biggest bass of the day, a bobber and a worm. All right, a couple pounds, two, two and a half pounds. Not a bad looking bass. Gotta get him back in the water here. So I was reeling in, something came at it. Just tossed it right back out here. Oh, right there. Yep. Yep. Pound, so let him go. Ah, something just took it under. Oh shit! Missed it. Missed it. Wasn't paying attention. Ah. 
Probably just grabbing the tail, tail end of the worm. Small fish. Big, big bluegill. Kind of figured. Pretty though. I just seen a bass, and I think it's a bass. Swim right through here, through this grass. I'm gonna drag this frog over, see if I can get him over here. Didn't want it. This one. Yep. Ah, he got off. Wasn't anything huge, but a little excitement there. Maybe he'll come back. Ah, come on. Take me in the weeds. Just swim out of the weeds. Just a little guy. Messing with it. No. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is going to be my smallest bass ever. Definitely is. Check this out. I've caught him pretty close to this, but this is definitely the smallest largemouth I ever got. Maybe he's about four inches. Ah, that's funny. They are aggressive, those little ones even, you know? Saw something swim. I hook myself here. Just saw something right in here. This time of the night, right before dark, these bass are coming in close, searching for food. I mean, I caught that one a little while ago, about six, seven feet out. All right, something just... See? All right, he'll come back and hit. You watch. He's hanging up. There he is. There he goes. Right there. Look at that. Not a bad bass. Hanging around right there. Ah, 
Ah. Dove right at it. <laughs> uh, well, about the same size, about a pound. All right. Well, that's going to do it for tonight. I did all right. I probably caught seven or eight bass, maybe more. Lost a few, nothing trophy size. A couple that were a few pounds, but fish is a fish. I still have a great time out here. It's a win-win no matter what. And if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And as always, enjoy the outdoors. I'll see you on the next adventure. Good luck fishing. By the time you see this, 4th of July will be over. But many more. Happy 4th of July is to come. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. <laughs>